Hey guys, Crab Clown Jimmy here. Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. We are at the top of day 20, and today we're going to shake it up a little bit by going out there to see Trader Hugh. He is way up here in the snow biome. We've already quick marked him on the map there so that we can get up there, take a quest from him, and maybe explore somewhere new. We also have a skill point to spend, and I wanted to go over here and do that right quick. Let's see, we are going to be using the machine gun a lot uh, during Horde Night, so let's go ahead and put a point into there so that that is well spent. Something else you guys need to know, I did up the difficulty to Warrior. And I put the horde count on 24 enemies, uh, and that's going to make our horde night a little bit more exciting, probably a lot more chaotic. But you know what? Let's stop talking about that. Let's get over here and see Trader Hugh and get started on our quest. Ba -da -da -ba 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 Bam! Dun 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 dun. Ow! Oh yeah! Just for that, I'm gonna get you back. Sit down! <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at Trader Joel's. Uh, now, I did stop and break apart a few cars, and the reason we're coming out here to find new places to loot is because, honestly, we need more ammunition if we're going to hold up in that brick hut uh, for the Day 21 Horde fight. Uh, there's a lot that we can be doing to make our ammunition, uh, like hunting down nitrate and hunting down coal, uh, but honestly, uh, it's just easier sometimes to do these quests and find it in there uh, as well as come over here and buy everything that he has. Now, if you look in the inventory, I brought all of our parts that we're going to sell to him because since our episode, or rather since our series, it ends on the next episode on the day 21 horde fight, we don't need to be uh, holding all of these as well. Now, as well as the pipe bombs, we're getting rid of those uh, for the extra cash so that we can buy the ammunition that we're looking for because we're going to be uh, fighting the horde from a cabin, from a, a bunker. Uh, we're not going to be on top where we can throw things down at them. So throwables aren't really an option for us right now. Uh, we're going to sell all this stuff. We're going to buy all of his ammunition. Uh, and then we are going to go to that first quest. And if we play our cards right, we might even get a second one. Let's get started. Hey, bro. Back up. Down for good. All right, so it looks like our quest is only about 600 meters that way. Let's pop over there, see what sort of place it is, jump inside, clear it out, fetch what we need to, and maybe we'll find some ammunition along the way, but hopefully one of his quest rewards uh, will give us some additional ammunition so that we can survive the fight. We're specifically looking for 9 mil and 7.62 uh, because we have guns that shoot all of those things. Shotgun shells are gonna be great, and we actually have a lot of those as well. We have about 300 rounds of those, and those are gonna be helpful shooting through the bars, and our base design, but we know that 9 mil weapons and 7.62 weapons shoot faster uh, and hopefully can thin out the horde a little bit uh, so that we can get some reprieves. We still have the punch turret on top of the base, and we're hoping that that stops anyone from being blown up there with landmines and that any birds that try to beat down on us or try to come in through the roof will also be taken care of that way. Honestly, I don't think it's a really good solution against the birds, uh, but it's going to be up there for now, uh, and we will try to find another use for it if we can. Uh, but for now, let's get to where we're headed. All right, well, this happens to be a point of interest we've actually been to before, guys. So let's go ahead and turn it on here. You see where it's reset. We know that the lattice is the access point up there, and uh, we know that we have to go in through the top there. I'm kind of disappointed to know that uh, we were given another uh, place that we've been to several times. I was hoping we could see something a little bit new. Let's just plow through this quickly. Back up, dude. We'll just plow through this quickly and see if we can't knock through another one. Let's get started on it.
Here's the mega loot room. We are doing great and making good time. Let's have a quick look at what's all in here. We definitely want the ammunition. Hopefully something in the weapons bag is good for us. More ammunition, I'll take it. And uh, the medical supplies, those are always good because we all know that at the end of every episode, something tries to eat me alive. Uh, and some great stuff here. The Bunker Buster mod, that's good. We don't need the bl Blunderbuss ammo. Definitely take these things here. Uh, military armor parts that will sell. And then we'll try to get this uh, armor triple pocket mod on there. And uh, I wonder, military gloves, I bet we can sell those as well. Now what I didn't show you guys is that on our shotgun, I added uh, the duck bill mod. And that actually widens the spread of the shot, allowing me to hit people uh, who are side by side instead of... Um, a larger circle of shots there. Uh, we're going to break into these crates and see if we have anything good. I'm hoping a little bit more ammo is inside of this shotgun messiah. Uh, ooh, but knives. These are good. Yeah, we can sell those and the military armor. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take that to sell it as well since we're headed right back there. And a level five pickaxe and extra tools. Works for me. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, so we got what we're looking for. Oh, nothing to see here, guy. Yeah, we got what we're looking for. We're gonna head back over to Trader Hugh, cash in that quest, and uh, hopefully pick up another one that's not in Dyersville. Maybe we can look a little bit closer, a little bit more closely at the one that we pick up and see if we can't find something that's a little bit more dangerous, uh, something that's gonna challenge us and maybe press our backs against the wall a little bit uh, for a little bit more action. And then we'll head back home to continue working on the base a little bit. There's still a few more things that we can do to fortify. Remember, I've got spikes and landmines to put down, but I thought about also putting up another little wall and I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get back there but for now let's go find the second job yikes so there's wolves and mountain lions over here man let's just get inside and sell this stuff to Trader Hugh cash in our quest uh, because we definitely need to not worry too much about the wildlife in this area. I also noticed an abundance of chickens and rabbits. There just seems to be a lot of wildlife here in the snow biome. Okay, these are neither things that are very impressive to us, so let's just take the chest armor, and uh, as always, we'll sell it back to him there, but let's see what we have that's nearby. That's a tier one, so the rewards will be less cool. What about this fetch and clear? an old Victorian house. So go exterminate the zombies. You know, all we know to do is go out there and check it out. We're going to sell this stuff to him right quick and be on our way. All right, so our quest is a mile or a 1.7 kilometers that way. Let's just head over there right now. Let's not waste any time. I really hope it's somewhere new that we haven't seen before. But shoot, if it has, we'll knock it out and then we'll just knock out something next to it. Um, but I'm okay with building in the dark a little bit on this episode because we really have to get that base finalized because tomorrow is the magic day. That's when everything comes undone and our biggest challenge is going to be before us. We have jacked up the difficulty. We have increased increased the number of zombies that will attack on the horde uh, and we're really doing that with not a whole lot of materials so we are headed over here to get this started right now now here we are yeah this is a place I don't think I've ever seen before looks like it has this garage over here and then we have butcher Pete's over there and I think there's a doggos right around the corner yeah let's go ahead and pull the trigger on this guy right here and uh, let's go see what we can find inside I think we go through here, but it looks like we fall down into that garage. Go over here and check out these chairs and these trash. We'll always take the wood. We're going to need that uh, for when we're looting. Let's just pop down here now. Hello? Crab's here. Ready to party. All right, we're going underground. I hate going underground. All of this cold is also keeping our food from staying up high. It keeps lowering really quickly. That's why I have to keep eating and things like that. All right, we'll take that, but we'll just move on here. I'm pre Oop. Oh, no. Oh, he doesn't see me. All right, let's try to give him one of these right in the nose. Be a good boy. Oh, not a good boy. Not a good boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, bad dog. Hey, lady. Looking for your friends. All right, it looks like this guy needs some help here. Let's uh, pop open a window and we'll take his order for him. Hey there, buddy. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. Watch out. There you go. Oh, you're not dead yet. There. I think we're supposed to go that way, even though he broke out of there. And I can't miss a zombie or the loot. So let's just follow this around. 
I imagine it's going to bring me right around the corner there. Yeah, see, it's going to bring me right into his weight room there. And here's a here's a buddy. Who's ready for a nap? Night night. Wait, is that the uh, supplies right there under the stairs? Yeah, it sure is. Okay, great. I wonder if that was meant to be found uh, another way. Uh, either way, we found it. That's good. We still have to clear the zombies out of here, but let's have a quick look at our inventory. Got a bunch of things that we're going to scrap, of course, some things that we're going to sell. We'll just mark those down there. We did find this great level four claw hammer, which will really help us uh, in building instead of using the uh, the stone axe over there. So let's just repair that. I, bring some, I brought some repair kits to, to help us out there. Uh, shower down this can of food and chase it with a little bit of yucca juice and uh, we are well on our way so let's pop upstairs and finish the job whoa 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 Zombie friends, I, uh, I'm being paid in casino tokens to make you leave the house. So if you'll just make this as easy as possible, I will go get paid in casino tokens. I said make it easy. Ugh. Thank you. Okay, Crab fam, let's have another quick look in our inventory. We've just cleared out another room. A couple things I want to get rid of, things that I really don't mean to, to pick up, but I just accidentally do sometimes. Uh, we will, uh, these scrap gloves, I think I'm already wearing, yeah, I'm already wearing a level six. So we will repair these with a repair kit there and it'll pop back into the inventory once it's done repairing. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll just hang on to that and sell that to the trader for the extra coin. And we'll use that, of course, to buy ammunition. Now, I don't know this. Are we going to be able to finish this in time oh there you are just hanging out in the bathroom all right good a place to die as any upstairs we go wow this house is huge Wait, whoa 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 no Man, I am really beat up. I guess I just didn't see that other cheerleader, freaking ninja cheerleader. Um, wow, yeah, we are really beat up there. I'm gonna chase that medicine down with some uh, goldenrod tea. And hopefully that goldenrod tea will uh, equip me to eat this sandwich without getting sick. And we gambled and won, so that's not bad. Uh, no more poopy butt here. Uh, let's see. Wow, I think we are nearing the end here. Let's pop open a couple of things and make sure we have all that we need out of these rooms. You know what, spider? Oh, and then a red-headed zombie. I'm just gonna just charge! Oh, I missed! No, I can't charge and miss! Oh no! Oh, I'm so bad at this. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right underneath me! Oh, Are you still not dead? Oh my gosh! I can't, I, I, so it's, yeah, okay. So it's clear that the zombies are stronger because I expected that guy to be like way dead after I hit him like three times with a sledgehammer. Man, that was ridiculous. There's the main loot. Okay, so we need to go through this stuff right fast. Definitely heal up, my gracious. And then um, we will go over here and cash it in and work on the base for a little bit more. I think we have enough time to do all of this. Don't hold me to that, but let's just get moving right now. We don't have any time to spare. So here's our mega loot room. Let's see what we have inside. A little bit of extra food. I'm gonna go ahead and take that honey because I have this infection that started because evidently that guy had my number. We're gonna eat some more. Meow chow! Because I am extremely hungry. At least once I get back onto the cold, I will be. We found these two books a second ago. Pistol Pete, you are more accurate when rapid firing nine millimeter weapons. That's good news. And let's see, Automatic, Automatic Weapons Handbook Volume 7. Uh, let's see, Craft 
M60 machine guns. I don't think we'll get around to that, but we will go ahead and take this. And of course we found these iron knuckles uh, and this pistol right here that we will also sell. Uh, but let's get into the working stiff tools box right here. Maybe we'll find something else that's either better than what we have or something we can sell. A crucible is nice. Heck yeah, man. And then the wrench will repair and the ratchet we will repair. And we will actually sell both of those uh, because like I said, we only have one more episode. There's no need to begin taking things apart with a ratchet. And then we have this guy, a steel sledgehammer, the extra ammunition, and the, ooh, the eight times scope mod. That's pretty nice. Um, all right, well, we need to get rid of a few things here. Uh, I don't think the cloth is as important to me as the scope is, and the gunpowder is not as important to me as the military parts because they sell better, and uh, I need the painkillers because I'm still pretty beat up, so that'll make some room there. Steel sledgehammer, repair it with our last repair kit, and pull the leather gloves in there, and guys, we are out of here. Here we go, Trader Hugh. We have all the things that you wanted us to bring you. Let's see, we don't need that coffee. We need to make room for these iron knuckles we're about to sell you back, bro. I love that beard. You must live in the cold. All right, so we don't want to take any more jobs. We definitely want to see your inventory. Guys, I'm going to sell this stuff to him right quick, and then we're going to be on our bike back to the base because we have a few things to work on. Here we are, Crab Fam. We're back at the base. We've emptied all of our pockets. I've got a lot of things into the forge right now. Started making some more wood frame blocks as well as some wood bars. And I'm smelting down the iron and the brass. We have a little bit of lead and brass we're going to put in there as well. So we can start making some gun casings because we bought all of the... Uh, the gunpowder from the um, trader back there. Now, it is nighttime, so I don't want to be caught by surprise, especially on the new difficulty, because I think we've learned uh, that I have really been uh, overestimating myself uh, with the new difficulty, at least in this episode, uh, because we found that other episodes, it just, you start getting all of this stuff, you seem to be getting a little bit better. So let's grab this forged iron, and I'm going to show you a concept that I think is really, really neat when it comes to doing a bunker like this. I think I want to put a perimeter around the bunker. We'll go ahead and have this shotgun ready in case somebody surprises us. Uh, I want to put a little perimeter around this bunker. It might require a little bit more digging, uh, but it will make it a little bit easier for us to kind of manage when everyone comes. So I want to do this right here. Check this out. I'm going to put these blocks like this all the way around uh, the base here. So just a block or two out, we'll make some room there, uh, but I will do it just like this so that we have something for them to jump on. Now we're gonna fill in all of these blocks and then uh, we are going to put bars on them just like this and they are going to uh, sit and face uh, this direction so that they have to jump up on there and then I can shoot them. So this will give me the opportunity uh, while I'm inside uh, the, the bunker over here shooting out of the bars. They will jump up onto the box and then that'll pause them for just long enough that I can get some shots before they get up here and start beating on this right here. Uh, so that is what I'm going to do tonight to finish up our base. I still have a little bit more grading to do in order to make this a reality. I want to stop stuff like double stacking the boxes like that. I don't want to do that per se. Uh, but that is going to be where we leave off on this episode. But guys, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're enjoying this. Our last episode in the series is going to be the Day 21 Horde Fight, and I hope that you're excited about that. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'd really love to connect with you in the comments as well. But until next time, we will see you at the top of Day 21.